Hello, you're welcome to this class. In this class, we want to look at modular arithmetic. So we'll be looking at introduction to modular arithmetic. Uh, we we'll also look at addition and the subtraction of modular arithmetic. So, so let's look at it. The first question we have here is asking us to simplify uh, 2284 mod 6. So question 1 to 284 uh, mode 6. Mode 6. So what we're going to do, we divide 284 by 6. Whatever we have, then we I get our remainder. So 284 divided by 6 gives 47. So it gives 47 point something on your calculator. So what you're not going to do, you are going to multiply 47 by 6 and that gives 282. So subtract it from 284, you will get what 2. That means it's remainder. Uh, so 284 minus 282, that gives us 2. So which means the answer will then be what 2 mod, mod 6. And that is the third option that you see. The option C is the answer. For question number two, so it's the same thing. So for question number two, uh, it's the same thing. We need to have uh, simplify 64 mode four, right? So we're going to divide 64 divided by what? By four. So that is one and 24, that is six. So this one gives you whole number. So the remainder, the remainder is zero. So the remainder is an answer. So our answer will then be zero mode what? Mode four. How this is clear. So we move to question number three now. Question number three asks us to work out the simplest positive form of minus three uh, mode seven. So minus three mod seven. So what we're going to do? So we look for the multiples of seven that, when added to minus three, give us a positive answer. So and we very we have to be very careful there. So the multiples of seven we are going to use should be the one that is closer to minus three. That is the answer we're going to get should be a number that will be less than what seven. So we, multiples of sevens we have seven, we have fourteen. If you use fourteen, the answer we're going to when you had uh, 14 minus 3 will give us 9, and 9 is more than 9, so we not use 14, so we use the one that is closer, which is 7, so that means it to be minus 3, minus 3 plus 7, and that gives what, 4, so that means 4 mode what, mode 7, that is the answer, I hope this is clear, alright, so for question number, for question number 4 now, for number 4, so the question asks us to to work out the simplest possible form of 56 mod 12. So the same thing, fit minus 56, minus 56, minus 56 mod 12. So, uh, mod 12. So we're going to look for multiples of 12 when added to 56, we give us a positive answer. And that would be 60 is the one that is closest to it. So because we have 12, 24, 36, 48, then we have 60. So 60 is closer to 56. That minus 56 plus 60. So that gives what? 4 mod what? Mod 12. Uh, this is clear, right? So that is a form of 12. That's option D. Option D. So we'll move to the next question. That's question number five. All right, question number five. So the question asks us to this is equivalent uh, uh, mod modular. So state whether 67 and 94 in mod 9 are equivalent. So which means we're going to simplify uh 50. We will simplify them one by one. So that means we need to have 67 mod 9. 
So we simplify it. So question number five. So we simplify that would be uh, nine. Sixty-seven divided by nine. Sixty-seven divided by nine. So that gives sixty-seven. So, so that gives seven. We mean that. So that is uh, six times nine. That is sixty. Fifty-four. No, sorry. Seven times nine rather. So that's sixty-three. So that is going to be remainder four. So we keep that. So we go to the second one, which is ninety-four. So ninety-four mod nine now. Mod nine. So we give us uh ninety-four divided by nine. That gives ten. Remainder what? Remainder what? So which means. 67 is equivalent to 94 mod what? Mod 9. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes for question question number five. For question number six, for question number six, state whether just the same thing. This is also equivalent. State whether this and this are equivalent. So we're going to have. 258 uh, in mode, mode uh, 8. So that means it should be 258 divided by divided by 8. So 258 divided by 8 gives us 32. So 32 times 8 gives us 256. So that means it's going to remain 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 that two. But the next one, which is 82, 82 mod 8. So that means 82 divided by 8 is equal to 10 remain that two. So it means 258 is equivalent to what? 82 in mode what in mode e. so the answer here also is what yes so that's the b option there so we move to the next question now which is question number seven all right question number seven now so let's go question number seven so evaluate 18 18 plus 15 in mode four so what we're going to do first is we add 18 plus 15 together. So whatever we get, so we'll be converted to mode 4. Is that clear? So that is 18 plus 15. That gives 33. So that means 33 in mode what? In mode 4. So that is divided by 4. So that means you have. 33 divided by 4 and that gives 8 uh, remainder 1 remainder 1 because uh, 4 multiplied by 8 is what 32 and this 33 so that means the answer is equal to 1 mode 4 1 mode 4 that is option A then for question number 8 now so we have evaluate evaluate 54 plus 65 in mode 6 so the same thing will be done here we're going to add them together 54 plus plus 65 we add the two together 54 plus 65 and that gives 119 so which means we're going to have 119 divided by 6 divided by 6 divided by 6 that gives 19 all right remainder and that is 6 times 19 and that gives 114 so minus 119 gives us 5 so that's remainder 5 so the yeah, final answer here is what 5 mod what mode 6 is it there 
that is option A as well. So we move to question number nine now. Question number nine. Question number nine. So we have 12 minus 9 in mode 4. So we check that. 12 minus 9 gives what? Gives 3. So 12, I'm sorry, 12 minus 9 uh, gives 3. So that means the answer is 3 mode what? Mode 4. So this is straightforward. It's straightforward. Then the last one, so that is 3 mode 4. That's option A as well. Uh, question number 10. Number 10 here. Question number 10. We have evaluate 6 minus 6 minus 24 in mode 8. So ordinary when you subtract 6 minus 4, 6 minus 24 will give us minus 18. So minus 18 mode what? Mode 8. So which means we look for multiples of 8 that will add up to what? Minus uh, that will give us positive answer. So in that is what are the multiples of uh, eight that will, that is very closer to minus eighteen, and that is uh, twenty four. So in that is you know we have eight, we have sixteen, we also have what twenty four. That means we're going to have minus eighteen plus what twenty four. So which will give us what uh six mod what mod what eight exactly. So so that is that um that so this is where we are going to stop today uh, in this video uh, if you find if you are new to this uh, channel don't forget to what to subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell so anytime i release video like this you'll be able to be the first to get notification of it and benefit from it and if you find this video useful and helpful don't forget to what to what give us a big thumb, thumb up and uh, Share the video with your loved ones, your family and friends. So we meet in our next video. Bye for now.